A DC motor has an internal resistance of 10 ohms and is connected across a 12 volt battery. At full speed, the counter EMF, also known as the back EMF, is 9 volts. Calculate the current in the motor when the motor is just starting up and when the motor is at full speed. So, whenever you have a current flowing through a motor, the motor is spinning and you have a constant change in magnetic flux in the motor. And so it's going to create an induced EMF that opposes the change in flux according to Lenz's law. So the rate at which the motor is turning is proportional to the induced EMF. So as the speed increases, the induced EMF or the counter EMF increases as well. So when the speed is zero, there is no counter EMF. Now here's the formula that you need. So V minus the counter EMF is equal to IR. So let's say if we have a battery connected to a motor. And let's say this is the internal resistance of the motor. So V is the voltage of the battery. And this is the EMF of the motor, and this is the internal resistance, which I should probably use lowercase r to represent that. So for part A, the EMF is 0. So it's going to be 12 minus 0 is equal to I times 10 ohms. So the current is going to be 12 divided by 10, which is 1.2 amps. And so that's the answer for part A. That's the current when the motor is just starting up, when it's accelerating. Now let's move on to part B. Let's calculate the current when the motor is at full speed. So at full speed, the EMF in this problem is going to be 9 volts. So let's use the same formula. So V is still 12, the EMF is 9, and the resistance is 10. So 12 minus 9 is 3. And to calculate the current, we need to divide both sides by 10. So it's going to be 3 divided by 10, which is 0.3 amps. So that's the current that flows in the motor at full speed. Number 2. A DC motor has a counter EMF of 14 volts when operating at 2100 RPMs. What is the counter EMF when operating at 3500 RPMs? So as the speed increases, the counter EMF will increase. So we have the angular speed, which is typically represented with the symbol omega. So this is the formula that we need. The ratio of the counter EMFs is equal to the ratio of the angular speeds. So let's make a list of what we have. The first EMF is 14 volts and it corresponds to an angular speed of 2100 RPMs. Now we're looking for a new counter EMF that corresponds to an angular speed of 3500 RPMs. So let's plug in what we know for this equation. So the first EMF is 14, omega 1 is 2100, and omega 2 is 3500. Now let's cross multiply. So this is going to be 14 times 3500 which is 49,000. And that's equal to 2100 times the second counter EMF. So let's divide both sides by 2100. So 49,000 divided by 2100 turns out to be 23.3 volts. So that's the counter EMF at a higher speed of 3500 RPMs. A DC motor connected across a 12 volt battery has an internal resistance of 5 ohms. The current flowing in a circuit is 2 amps when the motor is running at 300 RPMs. Calculate the counter EMF at 300 RPMs. So let's start with a circuit. So we got a DC battery, a 12 volt battery, connected across a DC motor, and here's the internal resistance of the motor. 
So this is lowercase r. The motor is going to have a counter EMF. And then this is the voltage of the battery, which is 12 volts in this circuit. The internal resistance is, in this problem, 5 ohms. So how can we calculate the counter EMF? Well, we could use the same formula as we've been using, which is this equation. So what I'm going to do is take this term, move it to that side. So it's going to change from negative to positive. And I'm going to take this term, which is positive on the right side, move it to the left, and so it's going to be negative on the left side. So V minus IR is equal to the counter EMF. So the counter EMF is equal to the voltage of the battery, which is 12, minus the current flowing in a circuit, that's 2 amps, times a resistance of 5 ohms. Now, 2 times 5 is 10, and 12 minus 10 is 2. So the counter EMF is equal to 2 volts when the motor is spinning at 300 RPMs. Now let's move on to the next part. What is the counter EMF at 1200 RPMs? So based on the last problem, we can calculate the new EMF at a higher speed. So we could use that same formula uh, that we used last time. So the first EMF is 2 volts, and that corresponds to an angular speed of 300 RPMs. So we're looking for the new counter EMF, or back EMF, when the angular speed is 1200 RPMs. So let's use this formula. So the first EMF is 2 volts. We're looking for the second one. Omega 1 is 300, and omega 2 is 1200. So let's cross multiply. 2 times 1200 is 1400. I mean, that is not 1400. 2 times 1200 is 2400. And then this is going to be 300 times the second EMF. So 2400 divided by 300, that will give us an EMF value of 8 volts. So that's the counter EMF when the motor is spinning at 1200 RPMs. Now let's move on to part C. How much current flows through the motor in part B? So we can go back to this equation. So the voltage of the battery is 12. The counter EMF in part B is 8 volts. And the resistance is still 5. 12 minus 8 is 4. And to isolate I, we need to divide both sides by 5. So the current is going to be 4 divided by 5. And that's 0.8 amps. So that's the current that flows through the circuit in part B. Now, part D, how much power is dissipated by the motor in part B? So how can we find that answer? The power dissipated by the motor is essentially equal to the power dissipated by the internal resistance of the motor. The power dissipated by a resistor is equal to I squared times R. And so the current flowing in a resistor is 0.8 amps. And the value of the internal resistance is 5 ohms. And so the power dissipated by this particular motor is 3.2 watts. And so that's the answer for part D, and that's for part C. Now let's review some formulas that we just went over. So as the speed of the motor increases, like the angular speed, the RPMs, the counter EMF increases. And the relation is described by this formula. So you can calculate the new counter EMF at any angular speed if you know uh, one particular EMF value at a certain speed. Now the second form that we use is this one. So in this form, you can calculate the voltage, the EMF, the current, or the internal resistance of the motor. If you want to calculate the EMF, you can also use this formula. It's V minus IR. And so that's it for this video. Those are all of the equations that we've used. 
So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you on your next exam, and uh, have a good day.